Hey, this is Dave, and uh, I've decided to create a blog called Gingivitis and Gum Disease Blog, and uh, you can find it at gingivitisblog.com. Um, so you might wonder, why would I write about a topic like this? And I will tell you why. Um, I actually wrote a book called What You Should Know About Gum Disease uh, about, I don't know, eight, seven, nine years ago, some, somewhere back then. And... Um, the reason I wrote the book is because I, you know, I found out that a lot of people have this problem of gum disease, gingivitis, periodontal disease. In my opinion, they're all the same thing. It's just that um, they're different parts of the same disease process. So I wrote a book because I realized a lot of people didn't know much about this, but yet many dental professionals will tell you that 75% of people have some gum disease right now. Now that's, if you think about it, that's three out of every four people. Now, there are some dental professionals that actually say more than that, and there are some that say less. The lowest I've heard is about 40%. But even if it is 40%, that's four out of every 10 people. That's quite a few people. So I, you know, I ran into a situation with my dentist where she wanted to do an advanced treatment on me that was going to be costly and potentially damaging to my gum tissue. And uh, I was disturbed by that. And uh, I went out and actually figured out a way to get my gums healthy again. Uh, it took some time. I had to. I tried many things. I did finally find something that really worked well, and my dentist was uh, completely shocked. So, and that's why I wrote my book, "What You Should Know About Gum Disease: The Layman's Guide to Fighting Gum Disease." I also wrote a shorter guide called "How to Stop Gum Disease in Four Easy Steps." Um, so, I think this information is important for people. I think, you know, this is what I've done. I mean, I guess if there's anything I've contributed to society, this might be it. I will say that you should always be under the the care of a, a dental um, professional if you think if you have or think you might have gum disease or gingivitis or periodontal disease or any other dental health issue um, but I do also think that there's going to be things that you can find out that many of your professionals uh, either don't have the time or won't take the time to tell you and you may find things that are helpful that they didn't uh, that they didn't even tell you about um, gingivitisblog.com I'll put a link under the video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks.